All right, all right, all right. Hey, Tube, I'm Lucky, and this is the Lord of Wolves pre-nerf and post-nerf. Here we go. I'm at just 11 meters right now. So if you can see there, I back up. I hit 11 meters on the dot. And if I hit all headshots, I can almost one-hit kill with the Lord of Wolves at this range. You can see there, I got the majority of headshots. I think I missed one uh, burst there. And so this is where the Lord of Wolves is at currently. If I go up to 10 meters, let's see what happens. We go to 10 meters even. And we get the kill. So it's a clean kill at 10 meters with Lord of Wolves. And we'll demonstrate a little bit of what it looks like with Release the Wolves now versus what it's going to look like after the big nerf. All right. And this is what Release the Wolves looks like right now. Pre-nerf. We're at 11 meters again. Oh, my gosh. Not one of one of those bullets hit him. Only one. That's insane. Look at where those bullets went. <laughs> no. Release the wolves is laughably bad. Holy crap. A lot of people don't realize how bad it is. And that's why people ask me to do 1v3 release the wolves again. And I'm like, uh, I'll do 1v3 with Lord of Wolves. I'm not releasing the wolves though. Look how bad this is. <laughs> Look, the bullets are up there. Uh, oh my god. That's so bad. Lord of Wolves after the nerf. Just imagine what's going to happen after the nerf now. It's about to be insane. So. All right, and this is post-nerf Lord of Wolves. We're at 11 meters. Let's go back to the same range as we were before. We'll try and hit as many headshots as we can. You see there we got 29s and 31s, whereas before we were hitting a little bit in the uh, lower 30s, like 34 on one of the previous clips. And so you can see a little bit of a range nerf there. And if we push up to 10 meters right here, we'll go to 9 and just to 10 meters. We can still get a kill with it at 10 meters, so that's really good. The difference is now you don't spawn in with three shots or three bursts like you did before. You are limited to two bursts like all the other shotguns. And release the wolves, instead of releasing ten bullets at once, um, now releases just five at once and allows you to fire two bursts back to back. But the problem is that you do not want to release the wolves because the accuracy goes out the window and it is not worth it in any way. So still just don't release the wolves like we saw before uh, pre-nerf, but... Post nerf is the same. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. All right, so we're looking at post nerf Lord of Wolves. Release the wolves at 10 meters. Let's go ahead and proc that. Got release the wolves. We're gonna go at nine meters. We just hit 10 meters and we're gonna try our best to hit two bursts on them and we'll notice the uh, difference in rate of fire post uh, adjustment to release the wolves of the perk. So I fired both bursts there really, really fast, but you can see that I did almost no damage to them because the accuracy is just completely gone it's out the window, so it could work really, really well if you completely barrel stuff them, perhaps. Like, maybe if they're uh, in a super, you might be able to pull that off in time. But overall, I would highly recommend don't release the wolves. But that's the nerf that Bungie did. Let me know if you think that's a fair adjustment. Let me know if you think that's going to bring down the usage rate of Lord of Wolves in PvP. I still think it's a good uh, shotgun, a good exotic overall. I think that we'll see more pellet shotguns, though, leading on from here out. I think the Lord of Wolves will probably fall out of the top 10. That's my prediction, but we'll see. Time will tell. When Trials comes back in about a couple weeks from now, make sure to subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Smash the like button. See you the next one. Later.